Everyone, today, uh, today's uh, my tutorial is about stability of uh, earth drops. Stability of slopes. The soil mass in the an earth dam because of its slope is subjected to act actuating or driving force, which tend to cause movements or slidings of the soil mass. This movement is resisted by stabilizing or resisting force, which develop as the potential sliding surface because of the shear strings of the soil. The side slopes of the earth dam will remain stable if the sum of the resisting force on every possible surface of failure is greater than the sum of actuating or driving failure forces. The Swedish circle method uh, is one of the various methods of stability analysis of slopes. The factors of safety is defined as the ratio of resisting moment uh, and uh, the actual moment acting on the assumed uh, failure surface this is also equal to the ratio of resisting force to the actuating force thus a factor of safety is equal to a resisting moment divided by actual moment or in other words uh, it is a resisting force divided by actual actuating force Procedure uh, for analysis of slope stability Consider the stability of slopes of the earth dam uh, shown in the figure below To check the stability of slopes trial the uh, slip surface AB is considered Soil mass uh, in the trial which uh, above the assumed slip surface is divided into a convenient in numbers of vertical stripes or slice by drawing vertical line Consider the, equi the equilibrium of one slice shown hatched this uh, slice number four is subject to the following force here uh, let's see the image here this a to b is a slipping surface trial slipping surface therefore we are going to this tutorial take this slice and uh, how this slice is subject to different uh, forces as you can see this is weight cos theta and uh, weight sin theta this uh, force are available this is uplift force here this is a weight force here downward this is resisting uh, force R this is the center center lines of this slice number four.